Hello everyone, Rover here. Welcome to another video of Epic 7. Now today I'll be doing one or two runs on Serila Challenge. And for those of you who are still stuck in Hell Mode, I can show you a team that I use to complete this challenge. Now the team I use is Rose, Montmorency, Karen, and Commander Lorena. Now, now this particular challenge is where um, Montmorency does shine. And that is because the boss and some of the mobs, I think all of the mobs in the boss stage, do throw a lot of debuffs. Now, one of Montmorency's skill is that all your debuffed allies gains pretty much heals, gains HP and removes one debuff each. Now, and she does have an AoE skill which consumes 20 souls. Now this particular team I use two DPS, Karin and Lorena, and I use Rose as a, as kind of like a buffer but also an additional, um, her second skill for that shield and remove debuff because you do lose damage when your allies are debuffed especially especially if you have two dps you really do need someone like rose to increase their combat readiness for a bit and also remove those nasty debuffs and montmorency does clear does have a cleanse for all your allies all right let's go First battle. So the first part, you really want to reduce the number of enemies as soon as you can, just to minimize as much damage to your team. So we'll be using, we'll be using Montmorency, sleep one of them now. Now I'm building Montmorency speed and health set, so. She doesn't really have that much effectiveness. But I'm not relying on her sleep. Not as much. Because I already know Lorena and Karin have high crit. High crit chance anyway. So for those you don't know, when you attack a sleeping target, it's guaranteed to crit. So it's good for... I guess heroes that doesn't have a lot of crit chance. But in this case I don't really need I don't really need that. Now for the second one, this guy's is really tanky. And when he does when his HP goes I think around twenty five percent, he splits into four weaker versions, four smaller slimes and weaker version although they although they have significantly less hp they do still hit hard all right rose what do i need for her to do now just no auto attack and probably need montmorency to heal um rose Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll do an AOE heal. Instead. Yeah. And I need to use the second skill. Just, just tap the monsters. And the monster... Okay, here he is, split into four weaker versions. And you want to take down as many as you can, because they do hurt. Yeah. Alright. One of them is asleep. I mean, look at that, so weak. No more attack from Karin. Just kills him. Okay, so now we're up to the boss. 
Now she does have a skill that steals your buff, but there is a window of frame where you can buff your allies and use the buff as soon as you can before she, before she takes it. Now the best time to do that is after she used this skill, Spirit Absorb. So after, you use, after she uses that, then you can start buffing your allies and, and if they have a lot of speed, it's gonna use up your buffs really fast. But if not, then she's gonna steal it. Go use ult on Lorena. And yeah, as you can see, Lorena was had a debuff, and when she used her ult, it did around 9k damage when it should do around 15k. That's why you need, well, in this team, I need Montmorency to clear it. All right, Montmorency is sitting in a bad position right now. I mean, she is my most important character for this challenge because because of the these spell buffs. Ah, she's is she gonna die? Okay, not. Nah. She survived. That's good. Now this particular team. I don't think it's possible to auto it. Well, not in my case. Because you really want to maximize the efficiency of your use of the spell buffs. Because if, if your tank has a debuff and your DPS doesn't, then there's no point of using the, the spell buffs on your tank. Because the tank's going to do no damage anyway. Now, there you go. 10k. Uh, let's see her other skills, actually. Yeah, decreased damage received by debuff targets. Alright. Um... I think we can go for a kill here. She does have the defense break. Hmm. Oh no, she got she got the debuff. Karin has got the debuff, no wonder. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a win. And there you have it, cleared. MVP Montmorency, as it should. And that's it for this video. For those who are struggling to complete the challenge, I hope this gave you some idea on how to build your team. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next video. Rover out.